Okay, so let me give you oops, my uh, review of Victory Games' Korean War um, after having just played it. Uh, this was actually a surprisingly fun playing of it for me. Uh, I had kind of been avoiding the game for a while, largely because I thought there was only one outcome uh, that could be played, which was that the UN pretty much owned the game if they played it correctly, and that they just had to know one trick. And what was cool with this was, I think that that trick relies on at least decent die rolling for the global tensions table. And if the global tensions start increasing, you're put in a really hard position because you haven't committed enough troops. Which is making me rethink, and I'm considering going heavy instead the next time I play. Um, just to try to maybe pull off that marginal victory by capturing as much ground as possible. What do I think about the game? I think it's a fantastic game. Um, I had it rated as an, at a 9 with the proviso that I was worried that it might be unbalanced. Um, I've got a couple of other games that are on the, those uh, standards. It's got an innovative system, at, especially for its time, but frankly I've never seen a combat system uh, that was the same as this. Um, using the uh, impulse movement, which is nothing, tr even in its time, it was nothing terribly new. But what we've got is a lot of kind of innovative ideas that maybe weren't too familiar to most wargamers at the time. I know for me, uh, most victory games that I picked up had at least one or two really exciting new things in them. This one I picked up rather late, not, not when it was first uh, published, I think in the early 90s. And even then, to me, this was had some incredibly innovative concepts, especially the combat system, which I just looked at and said, wow, what? <laughs> uh, given that, they do a tremendous job in their rule book. Um, the sucker and almost every victory games that I've picked up uh, has had this aspect to it. Really, really well-written rules to explain concepts that are new uh, to at least a large number of the gamers at the time. They also were exploring ideas, uh, you know, nice player aid charts, which a lot of games, most games I'd say at that time, didn't really have. Uh, quality of components, I'd say fair. I've never, I never was too happy with their counters. They had the glossy counters that end up clipping poorly. Pretty colors. Uh, the maps are a little too heavy a stock, of which, you know, this guy is poochy as hell. Um, I know that's not a big deal for people with plexiglass. I don't like plexiglass. Uh, and they're very non-water resistant. Uh, the other one is worse. And I've had that, that issue with a number of... Uh, a number of the victory games, they, the counters are a certain quality, the, the maps are a certain quality, and I'm not thrilled with that, but I can't really complain. It's, it, you know, it, it's fair for what it is. Um, I think it's playable in a long, you know, eight, eight to ten hour session maybe. Uh, might be better to split it up usually. Uh, a lot of options there. One, one issue that I noticed, there's a lot of pieces to the game. All these replacement counters, this, that, and the other. And there are almost never very many on the map. You know, <laughs> I mean, so each division has three replacement counters for it. And then for each UN division, they have, in, in addition, three regiment counters for it. And then there's multiple uh, versions of divisions for the... Uh, early war ones and the late war ones. I think it does really capture uh, the feel of the war very well, especially that early period. Uh, the combat system does a fantastic job of showing the fluidity that was uh, very evident in, in, in some of the situations in, in the war. Not, not a matter of one side routing the other at all times, but where uh, local superiority could be gained and, and on one flank or another, and, and 
forces were forced to withdraw from key locations again and again. The initiative system does a good job of allowing a player instead of just, if it did, if it were just a I move a piece, you move a piece, it would lose a lot of that flavor by having a little bit of uh, variability on that, where somebody can get maybe three impulses in a row. Uh, you're able to concentrate several attacks at once. On the other hand, the UN has this amazingly powerful ability, as long as they have a division stack together, to pass without passing. Uh, passing normally means you're done for the, the entire action phase. Anyway, I think it's a fantastic game. If you get a chance to pick it up, it's definitely worth it. I, I don't know what it goes for these days, but I would guess you can probably get a copy for under 50 bucks and I think compared to other stuff, new stuff that's out there, it's well worth it. Um, it's got a very operational feel. I don't like operational games. I love this game. I, I, so, <laughs> there you have it.